Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have upgraded to Edge version 111, which as many of you would know is the latest stable release, soon to become version 112 later this week, and you have experienced um, slow performance or lag in the browser since upgrading to uh, version 111 and beyond, then um, you're not alone because um, there are reports, even in the comments on this channel, that uh, there are performance problems in version 111 and mainly that the browser is just becoming unresponsive in different aspects where clicking and so-called and navigating around in the browser is just lagging to some extent which didn't happen in the previous version. Now it goes without saying that and as many of you would be aware that um, slow performance in a browser can be caused by a whole lot of different factors and just to mention some examples and in no particular order. Um, you could have a couple of extensions, too many extensions installed. Um, the cache of the browser, that's where all the temporary files are stored, could be getting too large. Um, you could have network issues, slow internet as an example. Uh, you could be browsing with just too many tabs open at the same time, or your settings are just not configured properly in the browser. Those are all everyday factors that can, con can contribute towards a slow and laggy browser. Now, um, if you are experiencing lag in the browser since upgrading to version 111, um, then just to let you know that there is some information available and also some things you can try to resolve the issues. Now, if you have tried um, disabling extensions, removing extensions, um, clearing the cache, checking your um, network and so on, just performing some maintenance tasks and the browser is still slow, then um, it could be caused by a third-party HP app called the Omen Gaming Hub. And this is according to reports over on Reddit where there are a whole lot of different users who are saying that they have experienced performance issues and they have the Omen Gaming Hub installed. Now, um, if you are running an HP um, device like I am, then um, it's the first point of call would be to check if you have the app installed. And uh, um, I don't have the app installed, but nonetheless, um, to check if you have the app installed, um, you just head to your settings, just to do a quick recap in case you're unaware. Uh, head over to your apps, uh, installed apps, and this is very similar on both Windows 10 and 11 and just look for HP Omen Gaming Hub and um, you could try uninstall and dis or disable the app because um, user reports are saying that um, disabling and uninstalling the Omen Gaming Hub has fixed the lag issues in the Microsoft Edge web browser. Now um, something you can also try before you actually uninstall the app is the simplest would be actually at first is just to head to your task manager and um, find the, the, the task. Now it could be listed under apps or if it's not under apps, it'll be listed under um, background processes. Now I don't have the app installed, but nonetheless, just to demonstrate, find the app and then just right click on it and then end the task. And then what that will do, that will end all the processes and anything that's running and open with that app. And uh, um, if that solves your browser problems, as in um, the lag disappears and the performance returns to normal, then you know that's the problem. And then I would go uninstall the app or disable the app until a fix rolls out. Now, regarding a fix, the good news is that if you have the app installed and you are using the Omen Gaming Hub, that HP has recently rolled out an update um, and the app can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store. Or online from HP as many of you would know so um, just go check if you are running the app and are using the app that you have the latest update download and install it and update it and that should resolve the issue now um, if you are not running an HP laptop and you do not have the Omen Gaming Hub installed then there are some other practical maintenance tasks you can perform um, which could resolve the issue and I know a lot of you would know how to do this but just to recap for those who don't you could um, as an example, you could disable or remove extensions. So how you do this is head to your menu, click on extensions, this will open the flyout menu. And then what I would suggest is just start at the top of your list and then head to the extension at the top, click on the three dotted menu and then uh, just remove that extension from Microsoft Edge. And uh, um, if, you, if you don't um, want to remove it, you can head to manage extensions and then you can also just disable it. So just disable it. And if you have disabled an extension and it um, resolves the issue, then you know that's the problem, then I would just keep it disabled or I would remove that extension. So you get the idea, um, disable or remove extensions that are causing problems. 
Another thing you can try um, until a fix is rolled out is just use the private browsing window or private browsing mode. That, in most cases, will resolve the issue. And um, then something else you can try, which I actually um, do suggest you do on a regular basis, is delete your browsing history and cache. And to do this, we head back to the menu, uh, click on history, and you click on clear browsing data and you can just go through the steps and clear your browsing data and if you don't know how to do that I have posted a video previously on how to do that so delete your browsing history and cache so that's something else you can try and then if that doesn't work we can head back to the apps list head down to Microsoft Edge this time and you can actually reset the browser as a last resort and uh, um, that means you'll have to find Microsoft Edge click on the three dotted menu and then modi click on modify and that, that that will take you through the process of uh, resetting and repairing the browser and uh, and basically that's what you need to do if you don't have an hp laptop and you don't have the omen gaming hub installed and if that doesn't resolve the issue then we're going to have to wait for microsoft uh, to roll out the next update for microsoft edge and that should then have a fix for that performance issue in the browser and as mentioned version 112 of microsoft edge is rolling out later this coming week so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one